And you guys, Shayna was about that life. Shayna caught him with Paris Hilton. She caught him with Lindsay Lohan, Kim Kardashian. She cussed them out. She cussed Paris out. Allegedly, Paris got punched in the face. Apparently not directly by Shayna, but by her ex or something. It was weird. And then she ended up throwing a drink on Kim Kardashian, allegedly. So Shayna did not play when it came to her man, Travis. So baby, when you hit my life, tell me what you want to do. Guys, before we get into today's video, as always, I just want to take time to thank my subscribers. Thank you, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Be sure to click that notification bell so that you are alerted every time I post a new video. Also, I do have another channel called Brandy B Review TV. And I am on Patreon.com, so if you're interested in my other channel and also signing up for Patreon, navigate to the first comment pinned to the top. Now let's get into this video. So happy Halloween weekend, you guys. I'm going to be doing this video today and also one last video for the month of October that I will release on Halloween. So, and that one will be a true crime video because I love true crime and you guys do too. So make sure that you click the notification bell, you guys, so that you are alerted when I post that video on Halloween. But today we will be talking about Travis Barker and Shayna Mokler. Now, we all know that Travis and Kourtney Kardashian just got engaged, but just like Scott Disick, ex and baby daddy to Kourtney Kardashian, Shayna Mokler, who is Travis's ex and baby mama, she is feeling some kind of way about the engagement herself. Sources were able to catch up with Shayna and ask her how she felt about the engagement. Thanks for uh, destroying my family twice. So yeah, she's feeling pretty salty. But you guys, I can't help but go down memory lane and talk about what happened with Travis and Shayna because they had a really, really nasty marriage, nasty divorce, nasty toxic relationship all together. So I can't help but go down memory lane and see and break down what happened to this couple. So let's take it back to the beginning. Travis and Shayna met and began dating in 2002. And when Travis first met Shayna, Travis was a newly divorced man, so he was single and ready to mingle. Now, the relationship was a bit rocky from the very beginning because Shayna, Shayna had some insecurities. Shayna explained to Travis that, you know, she had been cheated on, so, you know, she was really insecure. She was a really jealous person. She didn't want him hanging out with his boys. She didn't want him hanging out with friends that were girls. Like, she was really insecure over their relationship and about Travis. But Travis accepted these red flags, and by 2004, Travis and Shayna got married, and they had already welcomed their son, Landon, a year earlier. When Travis proposed, he, it was kind of interesting. He proposed at Disney World, right, which is sweet, but he proposed at the Haunted Mansion. And they had a Nightmare Before Christmas themed wedding. Shayna wore a white lace top dress with black sash wrapped around her waist, and Travis was the gothic groom. And you guys, if you know anything about Travis Barker, you know that he's always had that punk rock look, that kind of dark look, so it makes sense that he would propose in that manner. And it makes sense that they would have a, you know, a, a nightmare before Christmas themed wedding. In April of 2005, Meet the Barkers premiered on MTV, where Travis and Shayna opened their lives to the public, including introducing their daughter, Alabama. And you guys, I remember that when the show came out, I actually really liked this show, Meet the Barkers. I loved Shayna. I thought she was, you know, really beautiful. You know, she was, she was that Playboy model. She was so pretty. And, you know, I love Travis. I felt like he was so hot. You know, he was that rock star, punk rock star. And, um, yeah, I was, I was a fan of the show. <laughs> but the show revealed a lot about Travis and Shayna's marital issues and problems. And things got really toxic for the couple. The problems exposed on the show would ultimately cause Travis to file for divorce in 2006. In Travis's autobiography, Can I Say, Travis did reveal that he felt that the reality show changed Shayna's character and she would do things for attention just for the camera. That being said, Travis decided to pull the plug on the show and ended up filing for divorce in 2006 that same year. However, the toxic relationship would continue in 2007. Travis attempted to separate himself from Shayna. He was partying and hanging out more, but Shayna would spy on him and found him hanging out with Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, and Kim Kardashian. 
<laughs> you guys, Shayna was about that life. Shayna caught him with Paris Hilton. She caught him with Lindsay Lohan, Kim Kardashian. She cussed them out. She cussed Paris out. Allegedly, Paris got punched in the face. Apparently not directly by Shayna, but by her ex or something. It was weird. And then she ended up throwing a drink on Kim Kardashian, allegedly. So Shayna did not play when it came to her man, Travis. In 2008, sadly, Travis was in a tragic plane crash. And this was a wake-up call for Travis. He wanted to get his life on track, including making things right with Shayna. However, it was reported that Shayna cheated on Travis while he was in the hospital, recovering from the crash. Apparently Shayna cheated on him at a really rough time in his life and so he was like, I'm done indefinitely, which uh, that's understandable. Although the romance was completely over between Travis and Shayna, the drama didn't end there. So after Travis and Shayna ended their romance indefinitely, they still decided to live together as a divorced couple because they wanted to make it easier on the kids, but big mistake. In 2014, Shayna and Travis were both arrested for threatening to kill each other. So apparently they had gotten to a nasty fight and Travis threatened to put a bullet in Shayna's head, allegedly. And Shayna threatened uh, Travis by having her boyfriend beat him up. So it was, it was drama, major drama. Who, Courtney, this is your man, sis? I don't know, but she, I know she's gonna stick beside him. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Travis has completely made a 360 and he has found true healthy love in Courtney? Do you think that Shayna is feeling some kind of way about Travis and in Courtney's engagement? Let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.